Like I said, it's Sunday afternoon and the sun is out finally after several months. Finally got some sun. I'm gonna give you guys a travel tip today. It's a bit hot inside, so I'm gonna go to the local park, do it there. So we're just walking up to the park. Like so I'm just approaching the park now. It's a small one. I've got a few parts in here, but this is the smallest park here. Ooh, let me squeeze it. Squeeze it. Like I said, I'm walking to the park. Um, I'm in one of the parks, but it's really busy and there's nowhere to um, sit. I want to find somewhere. There's a table. There's another park a few minutes up. Hopefully, it's not too busy there. And also, I'm testing my new camera, I'm trying to get rid of the shaky, shaky, shaky shots. Um, let me know how it's looking. Let me know if the shots are stable. Let, let me know in the comments. Yeah, so it's on our way to the other park. And I'm going to give you guys a travel tip. Okay, guys, I just got to the park. Um, just going to review this. Bag. As I said, I'm going to give you guys a travel tip. I uh, ordered it on Amazon. It was recommended by one of my friends. So, um, give me a little story. So, I went to the airport about two months ago when I was going to Naples. And uh, when I got to the airport, I tried to check in and then Ryan there tried to charge me, well they did charge me £35 for a carry-on. I had a carry-on, it's a small carry-on case. So I need to pay £35 um, to take on the plane. Normally it's supposed to be free, but they said if I had a rat sack, I could go on for free. So I was so mad at the time, but I paid it and my friend gave me this tip here. So this is the bag that I ordered on Amazon, it's called the Lombardi. But, but there's loads of brands but this particular one is really good so I'm gonna put the name in the description yeah so this is the Lombardi this is what it looks like it's 20 inches and um, it's got three packing cubes in the inside as well I'll show you what that is so this is the packing cubes so you've got this small one so you can put your toiletries in you can put your flannels the toothbrush, um, soap, that, all that stuff. Then it's got the medium one. So this one, I suppose you could put like vests, um, boxes, underwears, that kind of stuff. And then it's got this one, which is the biggest one. So you can put your towels, you can put your clothes in here, and it just allows you to pack neatly inside. Um, yeah, this is it. It's waterproof. Uh, I think, it, yeah, I did say it's 20 inches. Then it's got a rack sack. So it's the same size as a Cairo bag. But it's got a rack sack. So this is um, a hack. This is a travel hack. It's very windy here. Let me see if I can put this away. So if you're trying to find a way to travel with a Cairo, about paying this is the ideal solution so it's the same size as the Kyron suitcase same size same exact size it fits in um, the same amount of clothes it's got a few compartments as well um, it's got the YKK zip so it's very smooth So you've got a compartment at the back. So you can put your laptops in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's got the laptop side. Put your laptop in here. Put loads of stuff in here. Um, what else has it got? Adjustable, adjustable straps. There's another compartment here as well. Very spacious, loads of room. And it's got another compartment here. More room. So next time you're trying to travel to the airport, if you're going to somewhere not too far, like if you're traveling Europe um, and you just don't want to take too much with it. Uh, let me 
can put it on. So it's not too so it's not too big on your back. So it's like you've got a carry-on suitcase by on your back. And it just straps. So this is it. So um Ryan Air won't be getting no more. No more of my money. Um, this is it. The Labadi laptop bag. And carry it this way as well. Carry it this way. Carry it this way. I'm gonna put the name in the description. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, if you're looking for something to beat the airlines, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys on the next one.